What have you kind of seen from him on film? Yeah, I think the the quarterback systems that they had and different players, you know, different different you know different types of people, um, but. I think they both ran their offense pretty well. Um, I don't think there's a big drop off by any means. Each guy has a little different, you know, strength and weakness and stuff like that. But you know, there's there's a run game from quarterback. He, he, he could run if he wanted to. Obviously, he's making good throws and stuff like that. I um, mean, it looks like he, he just knows the offense and the guys just rallied around him. And uh, since we're running the ball now, there's going to be more more confidence and stuff like that. So it's going to be a good challenge. Have you seen an offense yet so far that kind of compares to them at any point? Yeah, in some ways. In some ways. I always say to people, like, you could only run so many offense plays. There's gap schemes, there's zones, there's RPOs, there's, you know, just a spread offense. And they, they kind of do everything. Um, so we've seen everything throughout throughout the years, my experience throughout the years, and then obviously this season. So I think we're prepared for all the different looks that they have. Um, it's just really going to be gearing it down to their personnel and our personnel. You kind of alluded to it a couple questions ago, but how does your home crowd kind of set you up to go on the road in front of a hostile environment like you are this weekend? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it definitely helps. I mean, there's so much pressure for home games, and it's good pressure. I mean, if pressure is a priv privilege. So, you know, you step on that field, you feel the energy. Um, you have the expectations. People want you to withhold the standard. Um, so when we go on the road, we're, we're used to that. It's different. It's a hostile. Um, and then if there's bad plays or they make a play or whatever it may be, then they're cheering against you. But, you know, it's different. But I think, like you said, I, we're used to it. We're just ready to respond. And in some ways, it's always good to go on the road and just kind of feel a different energy. You talked about yourself and a couple of other individual guys. What have you seen so far out of the linebacker room as a whole? Yeah, the linebackers are playing great football. Um, there's all, always plays out there to do better. Even the plays that they do make, we make. Um, you could always make them a little better. But we're just playing very cohesive. You know, we're playing as a unit. We communicate extremely well, and we're pers pushing for you know excellence every day. So I'm very happy to still be a part of linebacker U and just having you know guys like Coach Connor that are consistently you know pushing the message and re reminding us where we are. Um, I think it's helped so much, and you know every day it's just the standard, 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 just constant message every day. How about you just mentioned Dan Connor, obviously with analysts having more of a rule now, he's allowed to do on, more on-field coaching. How has he kind of helped you guys, especially that he's been here before, and knows what it takes to play in this program? Yeah, I mean he's all-time leading tackler. He's played a lot of football here, played a lot of time in the NFL. He has so much great experience, and you know he could relate to us, uh, you know, and he's very, very smart schematically, but on the field, how he plays. And he kind of caters to each and every guy's, you know, style of play. Kind of lets us be our own individual. So, you know, him and Coach Allen have done a great job working together and uh, putting us in great positions to, to play our best football. I know early in the season communication was an issue as you guys were kind of figuring out the helmets and the road environment. Do you feel you have all those issues kind of worked out ahead into what should be a really crazy environment? Yeah, I would think so. I mean, anything new always takes time to, you know, transition to, to learn the strengths and weaknesses of it. Um, and we, we do such a good job just preparing, you know, every day using the system, um, critiquing the system, asking questions about it. And uh, we put ourselves in a great position to use it effectively and, and, and in different ways. So we're definitely prepared. This linebacker room has probably more veterans in one position group than a lot of other positions. You, Dom, Kobe, playing here for a long time. What type of confidence does that give you when you're trying to help this defense come along and kind of evolve, knowing that you guys have played a lot of football here at Penn State? Yeah, I think at, at the end of the day, nothing replaces experience. So we've played so much football that when we need younger guys to step up, we could be in their ear like, hey, listen, this is what you have to do. This is what to expect. Um, and just really be yourself. You know, at the end of the day, we all came here for a reason. We all were great players in high school. And it's just really understanding like what we did then, we could do now, it's just elevate it. And don't try to get out of your framework. Don't try to like be someone you're not. Um, so that's where we just kind of pour into them, just let them be themselves, be there if they need someone. And then when it comes down to playing football, just once you've seen it once, you're going to see it again, just kind of understanding that. And then I think you and Dom in particular have done kind of whatever it takes whenever the program asks of you. Yeah. When you think about how you talk to young guys about that, right? Like, hey, you can try special teams, you can do this. Do you want them to learn from the example that you guys, particularly the two of you, have set? Yeah, and when I step on the field, I never think like, oh, like I want someone to watch me so they, they, you know, act like me. But at the end of the day, we all got to lead by example. And just understanding your role on a team will make that team so much better. 
you know, it might be on defense, it might be on special teams, but the way that you handle your role, the way that people see you, you know, handle that situation, it's going to boost their confidence in you. And when you feel that, it kind of recycles energy. So it's just, you know, just push and try to get better no matter what you're doing. Hey, Tyler, what is the biggest change you would say from the 4-3 to the 4-2-5, aside from the obvious fact that there's one less linebacker out there, but what are maybe some of those subtle nuances with the way responsibilities are handled since you were playing in the 4-3 for quite a bit and then Tom Allen installed the 4-2-5? Yeah, it's obviously different, um, having a different backer in there, but the thing about our safeties, they play such good football in the box or in coverage, they can kind of do it all. So I don't think there's a big drop-off in that terms in the run game or the pass game. Um, at the end of the day, like it's just really football. The scheme's very similar, just different, you know, different people doing different jobs. Um, but I can't, I can't necessarily say there's something that sticks out that is totally different. Thanks, Tom. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all.